Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on a night lamp that uses a 3D printed base, a custom fabricated PCB for housing all the lights and the CNC engraved acrylic top that is being lit from the edge so it makes this nice effect. And to start working on the lamp, we're gonna start by the base, which I decided to, to 3D print. I designed this model into Fusion and I 3D printed it on my printer, laying it on top so all the cavities are on the top and that could be easily printed. The base is 12 centimeters by five centimeters and it has this rounded corners, so it looks nice and stylish and it has this slot in the top which is five millimeter the same thickness as the acrylic that i'm gonna use to engrave the sign on top and uh, eight centimeters in width where i'm gonna slot the acrylic inside on the bottom side there is a placeholder for the pcb and we're gonna have we're gonna have it mounted here on this pillar so there is a bit of space in between where the PCB sits and where the LEDs are as well as the legs of the connector. Now let's look at the model in Fusion and here is how the model looks in Fusion. We can rotate it and I also imported the PCB here so I can make sure that all of the mounting holes as well as all of the positions for the jack that i'm gonna use to power this on are aligned and this worked out quite well because the print is exactly as i wanted now let's look at the pcbs and how they fit into the enclosure now the pcbs i used altin designer to design them and there is a video up here that you can check out uh, if that's something that you're interested in but for manufacturing i contacted PCB way which are in fact the sponsor of this video anytime I have any requirement for PCB manufacturer my go-to supplier is PCB way and I want to thank them for always providing great quality boards and not only that PCB way also provides services for CNC machining 3d printed sheet metal fabrication as well as injection molding and they've been providing awesome quality services for the past 11 years at the moment PCB way celebrates their 11th year anniversary with a lot of discounts and coupons and activities that you can join on their website there are discounts for all of the orders as well as all of the services and there are special prices for some of the items that you can buy from their store as well as having some free activities and lottery where you need to unlock certain activities and gather uh, enough cards to join the uh, the draw and get awesome devices uh, for free so be sure to check out the link down in the video description because the sale is uh, almost closing you have as of time recording you only have 12 days to get hold of these discounts because they will be over after that period so be sure to check out pcb way down in the video description i'm gonna take out one and we can look at it. I chose the white boards with the black silk screen because I think it's going to contrast it really nicely with the base. And on one side is the company logo of the company from my wife that I'm going to try and sell this lamps locally through it. On here, we're going to have the DC barrel jack. So something like this that will be connected to a 12 volt power supply so we need to place this here and solder it from the back and on the back the idea is that i'm gonna have an led strip like this that i can place on top and solder it on the connections that are broken from the connector so the 12 volts will be directly uh, on the led strip and this can be longer or shorter I do have another strip that I would really love to use in this case, but because of the different spacing, um, you can see that once I cover it, the tabs are out of place. However, we can do a little trick and split the LED tape into two, where one of the ends will be soldered here on the center and the other one will be soldered right next to it and that would give us the entire spacing now let's see how the 
PCB fits into the enclosure. Now, since I already modeled this in Fusion, I don't even doubt that it's gonna fit properly, but it's never too bad to double check. And there is a bit of play on the PCB, but that's all right because it's gonna be secured with the screws there. And let's try to add the power jack, which aligns nicely as well. We do have some gaps here at the top and the bottom. The one on the bottom is kind of intentional because I don't want to have the power jack all the way uh, on the end. So there's some space for the plastic on the side, but we can try to minimize the one on top here for the next iteration. And this seems to be aligned nicely with the slots there uh, where the LED is gonna sit. So now let's start soldering this whole thing. Now, before I start soldering the LED strip on the PCB, I want to verify that I have the right polarity adapters. This one says center positive, and this is 12 volt 2 amp, way overkill for the light, but it's always better to have a better power supply than what you actually need. So I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna connect the connector here to verify that I get the 12 volts with positive here on the end. Here's the multimeter set to DC voltage. Let's see if we get, yeah, and yes, we get the 12 volts where positive is on the end. And we need to make sure that we align the LED strip on the PCB in the same orientation as with the DC jack. Now, I'm not sure how detailed you can see the PCB on the camera, but this pad here that correlates to the positive is connected to the bottom track here and the one on the side goes and connects to the other one. So we need to have the positive of the LED strip on the bottom and the negative on top. And before I solder the connector, I'm gonna apply the LED tape. So let's first remove the backing, making sure I keep positive on the bottom and I align this like so. Okay, that's glued on and the PCB itself will serve as a heatsink. Now for the second piece, I need to make sure that I keep the same orientation. So positive is still at the bottom and I can place this on the side, trying to keep it as center as possible. That looks okay. And now we can solder these two. So we make the connection. Okay, I think that should be connected. We can verify that with the multimeter. Okay, so I have the multimeter in continuity mode. And this is the negative, so it should be connected to this. In fact, I'm gonna test on the LED strip. And this is the positive, and it should be connected with that, which it is. This wasn't too bad because I need to apply some heat because of how large the pad is, I need to apply some heat at the beginning to get it warm and then I could easily reflow the solder onto both of the joints. Now let's add the connector. And for the connector, it's important that we keep it from the other side. So we add it from the bottom and then we can solder here on the top or vice versa, depends on how you look at the board. Let's add a bit of solder. Okay, and I'm gonna push it to verify that it lies flat. And that looks okay. And we can now add solder to the rest of the pins. Okay, that looks okay and soldered nicely. Now let's see how it's gonna fit into the enclosure. Okay, so the LED strip goes towards the top and on the back we see the company logo. So that seems to be fitting well and if you 
look closely enough you can see all the LEDs here being aligned with the slot on the top which is what we want because the light will come out through the acrylic piece and light up any engraving that we're gonna do on it to secure the PCB inside the enclosure I'm gonna use two completely inadequate screws because these are for uh, wood chipboard uh, however they will work nicely in this case because I left the holes just slightly underside for them and these screws will cut their own thread inside the plastic and should hold it nicely maybe in the next inter iteration I could add some uh, heat treat inserts and have some machining screws to tighten the PCB inside but this will do for now okay so the PCB is nice and secure let's tighten that a bit more okay that's that's nice and solid and now let's give it a try with the power adapter I don't really have the alignment exactly correct here but I can measure all the offsets that I have here and adjust the model so for the next version this all fits exactly as it's supposed um, main part is that this is all aligned and we should be able to see the lights light up which we do and we can see all of them if I project it down here you'll see that we get a nice straight line of light which is what we want which will go on the acrylic and this is what we need to do next and here are the two pieces of the CNC after they were machined this one I did first so I engraved with 0 0.2 millimeters depth and it came nicely around the logo maybe a bit too much for the F1 car because we lost some of the details from the vector file and here is the badge that I made for my YouTube channel I designed both of this in Illustrator and for the files I just created the outer shape with the slot that goes in the light base and the design on top and on this inner lines I used to engrave on the line and on the outer line in the vCarve software I chose to cut on the outside so we have this shape being left over and this is the other one again this um, got engraved because of the all the lines here we lost some of the details because we had some overlap but I uh, would simplify the design for the next one and I have that in mind now let's add them to the base and see how they look to assemble the top just slides in and it's a nice press fit if I turn on the power supply and connect it from the back you could see that there's a nice glow on the outside because the light moves on the acrylic on the inside and it breaks from where we have the engravings and this makes for a really nice display and a night lamp let's see how the formula looks since they are just press fitted they could be easily replaced and this is how the formula looks and it looks really nice and with that i'm gonna end the video right here i think that the end product is really stylish and i really like it i like how it came out and i'm gonna definitely try to sell this locally through the company from my wife so go and follow her as well to see what she does there will be links down in the video description make sure to subscribe so you see any of my future videos involving electronics and coding and if you're interested in getting the files i also do have a patreon and i'll make the files available for free for my patreon members i have the patreon account for quite a while but i've never promoted on the channel and i'm gonna start posting some things there more often now so be sure to check that out and i would see you all in the next one cheers